when it comes to preparing for academic writing, you need to have all of your ducks in a row. Make sure you look over your lecture slides again. Make sure you get all your, your readings done so you can get as many possible, you can get as many sources as you possibly can in order for you to create more information so you, you can get your reading and writing done effectively. One of the first things I like to do is I like to think about what I know about the assignment, what question I'm being asked, what is the course about, what course content have I learned, and then start looking based on those parameters and trying to branch out research-wise and then trying to think about how I'm going to structure this. Because if it's a critical report or a policy briefing, I'm going to approach it differently than if it was a critical essay. When looking for somewhere to help with your referencing, the JC LibGuide is a great place to start. We have a whole area for help with um, referencing. We have the Learning Centre. Um, we have many people in multiple offices you can help. Uh, you can go into and ask for help depending on what you're studying. We have a peer desk so you can um, sort of walk up at any time um, with any sort of assessment, where, whether that's an um, oral presentation or an essay or a report, depending on your discipline, and you can ask for help with your writing and your, your um, assessment. And then, of course, we have the library desk. We have some really wonderful people at the library desk who you can go and chat to about any kind of referencing. There are loads of websites. There are loads of books. There's, there's no short of help with referencing. Having those immediate, like, Restricting parameters is going to save you a lot of time in the long run than if you just jump headfirst into writing or researching. Mm -hmm.